Hello again from Beijing. You know, it seems like no matter what culture you're from, all of us share the same common、uh, experience of communal eating sitting around the table. It seems like there's nothing like eating together、uh, that brings us together,、um, gives us a sense of warmth and community. It's the way we meet friends. It's the way we form closer bonds with our family and our coworkers. Go one step beyond that, and you're going back to the caveman days, where we sat around a fire and actually cooked our meal right there for each other and in front of each other, and making for a more fun eating experience. Here in Asia, the Koreans are probably most known for their Korean barbecue,、uh, where you sit around the table and you cook your meat right on a grill in the center of the table, where you can get everything from beef to seafood on the shell cooked at the table. Korean barbecue is also very popular now、uh, in Japan, where they've taken their own spin on it. They call it yakiniku. We've also been to some Korean barbecue restaurants in the states. It seems to be taking a foothold there. In Japan, they also have okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, my favorite.、Mm. <laughs> Which is a kind of pancake that you grill in the middle of the table. That's really good. That you cut up and share amongst each other. That's sprinkled with these little fish flakes that、uh, are very finely shredded dried tuna. And the heat as it rises, it causes the flakes to flutter a little bit and gives your meal a little bit of animation. One Japanese thing though is called shabu shabu. It's a kind of hot pot where you basically put your vegetables inside the broth. Then you dip very thin slices of meat just for a few moments. You shake it around and. That's where the term shabu shabu comes in. It's a kind of onomatopoeia for that action of swishing your meat in that really hot broth for a few seconds、uh, while it gets immediately and instantly cooked. Shabu shabu has been imported、uh, here to China, where they have their own traditions of hot pot. There is a chain of restaurants called Shabu Shabu. You can get your own choice of broth. Here we have a curry flavored broth, and then vegetables and different choices of meat. And you can even have your own little pot if you're sitting at the counter, so that the two of us、uh, could have different flavors of broth if we wanted. In Chinese culture, they seem to really love hot pot. We've experienced hot pot all over the place. You'll even see little hot pot places set up in street stalls. We took a trip to Shanghai a few weeks ago to go to Shanghai Disneyland, and while we were there, we had an extra day, so we went downtown, saw some sights along the bay. And found another hot pot restaurant. This one specializing in lamb. So now she brought out the lamb with a whole bunch of cabbage underneath it and turned on the stove. So now we're waiting for the cabbage to boil down. Actually, it's pre-cooked, but、uh, it's not hot.、Um, it's going to、uh, get in that broth. It's all going to get warmed up, and then we're going to add these noodles and these potatoes to it as well. It's like fall off the bone, delicious. It's a little gamey, as lamb tends to be. The noodles, everything takes on the flavor of the broth and that lamb. It all goes down really well. Some sing tao beer. But perhaps the most famous hot pot place here in Beijing is a chain called Heidi Lao. This chain is famous for their customer service. All the waiters and waitresses are dressed up very nicely.、Uh, the dining experience is very nice, and there's a bar where you can put together your own dipping sauce、um, out of different herbs and different sauces and different spices and vegetables. So you can have two or three or even four different bowls of dipping sauce. This is a very important part of hot pot because it allows you to cool those foods before you get them into your mouth and adds a little extra flavor that the broth doesn't. Thinly sliced meats to hard shell crab to tofu to all manner of vegetables and noodles. In fact, they even put on a little show for you if you order noodles. They'll stretch the noodles by hand out in front、uh, and play around with you a little bit like that. Of course, this guy is going to take his long noodle strand here, cut it into pieces, and drop it in the bowl. Just a lot of fun、uh, to go with a meal that's already a lot of fun. Much like a lot of these hot pot places, Heidi Lao has a dividing section here where you can have two different broths. I love eating in China. We've had so many great eating experiences here. Hot pot is so much fun, and it allows you to pace yourself to keep you from overeating, which is one of my issues. As you can see, we're broadcasting from in here, our new apartment. We finally moved out of the hotel room a couple weeks ago. Once we get things cleaned up and set up a little bit more, I'm going to give you a tour. Please check out the other videos on China I'm posting on this channel. And if you want to keep updated as to future videos, just hit that subscribe button down in the corner on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you later.